what's going on guys um yeah here we are motor is practically out ready i've got top um, gearbox mount bolts to go engine mounts and then i can use the engine crane to pull it out um quick update i haven't really had the chance to grab the camera to get onto it i've got uh, wiring harness off aircon off i haven't disconnected um, you don't need to disconnect oh, sorry about that, these lines here um, because you can actually unbolt the aircon compressor on these on the Pajaros and move them, off, just move them off to the side there and the engine actually comes out without interfering with that so, yeah um, top wiring harness off that's all that luckily all the plugs on this are like just one plug for one plug so that they don't they go to certain plugs, you can't mix them up. Um, fuel lines off, everything up here is done. The only thing that needs to be done is engine mounts and top bell housing bolts, four bell housing bolts and engine mount bolts. Then I can separate it, pull the motor out and replace the um, crush bearing. If we get up under here, I'm going to show you quickly up under here. As you can see, everything's pretty much out from under here. Uh, exhaust is up there. That tail shaft is out for the front diff. So, yeah, she's she's getting there. Just a quick, real quick video just to update you guys because I don't really have a tripod for my phone or anything like that, so I can't really get under here and do the work on camera because I don't really have anything. Like I said, I don't have a tripod, so I'll just do the work that I'll get onto. But that's where I'm at at the moment. Bonnet, radiator, everything's there. Um, just a quick sneak peek. That's the... Uh, there's the roof rack for it, so <clears throat> yeah, so everything's off. Um, getting there, uh, I'll give you another update once um, engine's out. Um, just when we finish here, I'll be putting just a little little clip afterwards, just of what happened, what it was like before I started pulling the motor properly. So, all right, guys, thanks. See you in the next one. Oh, and quickly too, guys, before I do go, um, just thought I'd tell you exactly what I need for it. Um, I do need thrust bearing, for one. I need grease to grease up the input shaft. I need exhaust gaskets, because when I first pulled this motor, to do the clutch initially, the exhaust gaskets all disintegrated. So I've been running no exhaust gaskets from the extra oh, the manifolds down to the cat so yeah it's been a bit fart noisy for a while so i've got to replace them thrust bearing grease and i was thinking of doing a service while it's out the car just like the spark plugs and stuff like that but they're not exactly what i need but i do want to clean the bay up as well just to get rid of some of this crap here so it's it is quite dirty so yeah um that's another thing i thought i'd quickly get on and tell you guys might even give stuff like this a clean up Get the wire brush out and clean it up and paint this thing, the uh, intake, just stuff like that. And I do need, I won't be doing it while the motor's out, but I do need a new TPS sensor because my TPS is stuffed. It does nothing, so I've got to get a new one of them. But that's about it. That rounds up. Just a quick clip after the end of the video. Um, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.